My name is Michael Prorock. I'm the Chief Technical Officer over at Measure.io. So I'm in charge of all technical and strategic decisions for Measure.io. We are building the single largest in-ground sensor network um, for analysis of environmental data, in particular as it impacts agriculture, golf courses, parks, wastewater runoff, etc. We help non-technical customers, whether that's a golf course superintendent or a farmer, understand the data points in real time that matter to them, whether this is a ground temperature issue, a soil moisture, or over-irrigation issue, um, understand when they need to be applying pesticide or fertilizer. To focus on pulling out that data that matters for decision making, whether this is to make better decisions around water or other re natural resources, um, or to go ahead and make better decisions around utilization of labor. The associated model and click really exposes the unique relationships within data that may not otherwise be apparent. And, that, and that's the single biggest value that our customers gain from click is being able to see those relationships and that more importantly, those hidden causes and drivers of the problems that they're trying to identify. Because we make a heavy use of both real-time and near real-time data um, within our platform and on top of Click, um, we could surface problems before they would otherwise be apparent. One of the best statements that was made to us uh, from a customer was that he could finally see the actual data that was met behind the decisions that he was intuitively making. Click has been really standalone in the market for being robust and stable as well as flexible and extensible. They've provided a very flexible API and engine that we can tap directly in as a part of our mainline product. We're able to tie all these various uh, components together, whether this is mapping and satellite data, whether this is big data sitting on top of Cloudera and Spark. Click lets us bring all those things together and act as a cohesive component within our ecosystem um, and within our platform. This is a truly powerful capability to put into our users' hands without having to force them to become data scientists. Um, I took a look at all the products that were out there and trials with every major market leader um, as well as some emerging technologies. ClickSense really stood out um, as the only one that could bring, help us bring our product to market quicker. Uh, at Measure.io, we've taken a very cloud-first approach to dealing with the infrastructure related to our data um, and, you know, leverage the APIs, um, you know, build them right in as part of an Angular 2 application and really tie that stuff together just as another component. Um, and in fact, we are able to componentize uh, third-party services that we're already working with as extensions within Click to help us manage them, to manage dependencies, so that when our Angular 2 application pulls out a component, say, for mapping, even if that mapping is coming from another GIS provider, we can tie that tightly together with the other information that's embedded directly within Click and treat that as an extension of Click itself. And this has been very powerful for us. The sense of open source around Click and around the extension communities and around the APIs and the capabilities that you can build on the engines. Seeing that grow is also huge. So seeing Click's own commitment by open sourcing core parts of their application and libraries, this was huge to us because this meant that we could move forward with knowledge that we could dive in ourselves and um, extend where needed. Click has made such an impact on our development workflow from the way we interact with customers, right? When we're working with a new customer or talking about a possibility with a customer, we can actually sit down and look at real data in real time. Um, and this is something that normally isn't possible. So Click has really changed so many aspects of both our development life cycle, um, but also the way we interact with customers. We have seen an easy six month shortening of our development life cycle and overall time to market. You know, with limited resources and a startup, uh, that's a huge impact.